Okay, yeah. These are looking good. These are looking real good. All right. Now I just have to find him. Well, <sighs> nighty night. Um, hello? Mr. Kruger? Are you there? <laughs> oh, look who's here. <laughs> One, two, Freddy's coming for you. <laughs> oh, there you are, Mr. Kruger. Uh, uh, you, you don't know me, but I'm actually here to roast you. Oh, roast me? Oh, God, not again! Don't roast Freddy! I can't handle it again! Stay away, kid! Stay away! Uh, oh, no, 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 no. I, I, I'm not here to roast you like that. I'm here to perform a comedy roast. Oh, you're gonna roast me with jokes. That's nice. That's a lot better than... You're not gonna set me on fire, right? No. Oh, oh you have me panicked there. I can only take so much fire, you know. But a comedy roast. I like it. Let's do it. Yes, um, if you would please just uh, have a seat right here. All right, Freddy, are you ready to be roasted? Yes, I'm ready to be roasted. Roast Freddy, roast me! Oh, you know, that actually sounds kind of awkward when I, when I say it back to myself. You shouldn't actually roast Freddy, but I'm ready for you to tell jokes about me. All right then, first we gotta fix the lighting. Yeah. There oh, we go. I think we're ready. Hello everyone, and welcome to the roast of Freddy Krueger. You know the, the roasty, Freddy Krueger. Mm. So, let's get started, shall we, Freddy? Okay. It's not your first time being burned, is it? <laughs> you have such a rich history, Freddy. Yes. You've taken on many roles in many forms. I have. And you know what one of those forms is? You are horrors designated feminist because in almost every movie you are killed by a girl oh my god he's right oh no it was a bitch in every movie but i'm not a feminist a feminist wouldn't call them a bitch i'm pretty sure about that pretty sure a guy as a feminist wouldn't say that and they were moving on next joke please i'd say it's time to quit your day job, Freddy, and go on The Apprentice. But you've already been fired! How dare you! I've already been fired! Oh, you noticed, huh? You noticed how they set me on fire! And The Apprentice... Well, I do like Donald Trump. I do like him. I voted for you, Donald Trump. Us monsters, we have to stick together. You know, speaking of you, Freddy, you are a horribly scarred man. You butcher children in their sleep. You are vile, pure evil, a literal monster. And you know what that means? You're already qualified to run as president of the United States. <laughs> now that's a joke I like, and an accurate one. <laughs> you hear that, Donald Trump? I'm coming for you, Freddy 2020. <laughs> Every presidency has an Elm Street. <laughs> uh, but but you know, Freddy, there's a lot of a lot of care in one's appearance when running for politics, and. You know your looks? Have you, have you ever heard the saying, a face only a mother could love? Well, that doesn't apply to you. Your mother put you up for adoption and she was a nun! Huh. Let's get one thing straight there. I didn't look like this when I was born. This happened later. 
That's not why she gave me up for adoption. It's because I'm pure evil. <laughs> and you're gonna find that out if you keep pissing me off. Well, you know, Freddy, you, you know you know your whole whole mission for vengeance and, and all that? Yeah. Well, I think I know the root of all that anger. Oh, do you? You are the first person to ever commit your own accidental circumcision while taking a leak. No wonder you're so mad. Well, it was a complete accident. I was at the urinal. I forgot to take this off and Freddy sniffed little Freddy. And you better believe I'm pissed off. It hurt like hell. <laughs> oh, I still feel it to this day. Oh, I'm sorry, little Freddy. You know, Freddy, let's let's delve into your powers a little bit. Mm -hmm. When people forget about you, you lose power. You become weaker and frail. And are you doing okay after that remake? Because I'm sure everyone's trying to forget about you now. Oh, come on. That's really hitting it below the belt. That hurts little Freddy again, too. The remake wasn't so bad. Uh, 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 oh, crap, I gotta admit. The remake really was bad. No wonder I don't have any power right now. Ugh. I hate the remake so much. <sighs> and, and you know what, Freddy? If, if we're really being honest with ourselves, you're nothing new. I mean, I've seen people like you before, but I've had to pay admission first. You what? You're calling me an attraction and a freak show? You think you can keep making fun of Freddy and my appearance and get away with it? You better have some better jokes or I'm gonna split you in two. <laughs> and you know what? While we're on the subject of having to see things for admission, your movies have become rather comedic at the end, haven't they? I mean, you know what they say, laughter is the best medicine. And if that's really true, your face could cure cancer, but it doesn't cure burns, evidently. Would you shut up about the burns already? We've gone over this. I was set on fire by the parents of Elm Street. I don't want to look like this. It just happened. You are really starting to piss me off. <laughs> These burns. Freddy, you've been set on fire, but you know what really burns? These jokes. <laughs> oh, I get it, because it's a roast, and these are insulting me, huh? Well, laugh it up, because when it's all over, and you're out of jokes, one, two, Freddy's coming for you! How, how are my words? Are they spicy? Are they hot? Stop that! Do they, do they singe your delicate little nerves? You're not funny! Alright, let's see. You know what, Freddy? You should consider yourself lucky. That you were never set on fire before you got arrested. Can you imagine what that lineup would have looked like? Hey, can you tell us who killed the Elm Street kids? The guy in the fedora. Really? Are you sure? Of course I'm sure! He's the guy who's been burnt to a crisp! Would you stop making fun of the fact that I'm burned? I get it! I was set on fire! I stand out in a police lineup! I get it, okay? Everything's- Oh, look, Freddy! Your face is burned! You're ugly! I know that, okay? I know that. But, you know, Freddy, I've been poking a lot of fun at the current you. But let's take a look at your past, shall we? You're the son of a hundred maniacs. But that would only take up, like, what, one episode of Mori Povich? <laughs> you got a point there, you got me. Son of a hundred maniacs. And we all know about Mori Povich. You are the father. In my case, that's at least a hundred guys. Way to go, Mom. Way to go. Let's see. You know, you're not all laughs, Freddy. You are fear. You try to be scary. You want to be scary. Yes. Well, I've got good news for you. You are so scary that you scared the crap out of the toilet. I don't know if I should take that as a good thing or a bad thing. You're 
calling me scary, but you're also calling me ugly again. You're always focusing on Freddy's appearance. I look fine. I didn't do this to me. The parents of Elm Street did. You better have some way better jokes, because when this is all said and done, I'm going to shove this up your you-know-what. And you know what? Speaking of crap, your face looks like crap. If I had a face like yours, I'd sue my parents. And considering you had a hundred of them, you'd make a mint. <sighs> Would I now? Because we've pointed out, son of a hundred maniacs, son of a hundred maniacs. I don't want their money. I don't want your money. I want your blood. And when this is all over, that's exactly what Freddy is gonna get. I mean, you're so ugly that when your mother got rid of you, she was fined for littering. What? Fined for littering? God, that really does burn. It insults me and it insults what happened to me. How dare you? You're the reason I became this. It was you and the kids on Elm Street making fun of me and my circumstances. You're going to pay when this is over. <laughs> and you know what? Talking about your past again, you got off on a technicality. But let's face it, if ugly were a crime, you'd have gotten a life sentence straight away. A life sentence? Again? With my appearance? As if I wanted to look like this? Yeah, I got off on a technicality. I butchered their children, and then they set me on fire, and now I look like this. Am I ugly? Yeah, but I had my revenge. I got their children. <laughs> and I'm gonna get you. You know what, Freddy? Getting real for just a moment, I do think about you. <laughs> but when I do, I'm usually at the zoo. Oh, I get it again, cause I'm ugly and you see things and creatures at the zoo. You ever been in the lion's den? When I'm through with you, you'll wish that was your fate. Okay, okay, all right, Freddy. I've, I've been poking a lot of fun at you. Too much. But. I have something to say from the heart. What? It's a poem. Okay. For you, Freddy. Mm. Are you ready? Yes. Roses are red. Violets are blue. God made me pretty. What happened to you? I told you already what happened to me. It was tragic. I, I went after the children of Elm Street. Their parents got together and they set me on fire. And now I look like this. Do you understand? This wasn't a life choice. It happened to me! It's tragic! <laughs> That's it! I've had enough! That's your jokes! One, two! Freddy's coming for you! Good night, everybody! Good night, everybody. <laughs> oh. Oh, oh, man. Oh, that was close. Oh, but that was... That was great. That was even better than I expected. Oh, he is going to kill me the next time he sees me. Hey everyone, this is Droid from the Dare to be Stupid show. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and hit that bell to get notified of new content as it comes out. And in the meantime, you can check out our other videos. Thanks for watching.